Coronavirus patients who are severely ill often need a ventilator to breathe, and the fight to simply stay alive can be traumatic. KIT Force Diana Cole talked to a woman who twice was placed on a ventilator and survived. She joins us live in studio tonight. Diane. Brenton, Deborah Cuba lives in IAEA, and she's the mother of one of our producers here at KITV4, Victoria Cuba. Her experience, she says, was painful and frightening both during her hospital stay as well as in the months that followed. Deborah Cuba is very cautious about her health during this pandemic. She does not want to catch COVID-19 and end up on a ventilator again. Yes, very, very painful. Something that I wouldn't want to go through again. She was hospitalized for a heart condition in both 2018 and 2019. Without hesitation, she says it was terrifying. Fear of dying. Um, in a way, kind of hopeless because you can't really do anything. Straub Medical Center intensivist Dr. Jonathan Palladino confirms intubation is painful. You can still feel pain. Uh, and so even though people will be completely unconscious, if they have a painful stimulus, you'll see them break out in sweats. So you'll see their heart rate go up. The tube passes through the vocal cords, he says, and can cause damage requiring physical therapy, sometimes forcing patients to relearn how to talk, eat, or swallow. That's exactly what happened to Cuba. And then eating was kind of hard because you couldn't really swallow when they had me on liquid diet. Intensive care patients often need to learn to walk again. After you've been in the ICU for two or three weeks, uh, you can experience you know, loss of muscle mass 20, 30, 40 percent. And some doctors believe long stays in ICU can affect a patient's mental health. You're going in to treat your coronavirus and then mm -hmm. coming out with perhaps PTSD. PTSD, uh, you know, we see that a significant number of ICU patients have nightmares and depression and long term uh, mental injury. Medical experts continue urging people to practice simple social distancing, hand washing, and mask wearing. People think uh, that a mask is uncomfortable. They have no idea what's in store for them if they have to have a tube rammed down their throat. Dr. Palladino described a little bit more about vocal cord damage. So having the tube in there for days or weeks means the vocal cords develop scar tissue and sometimes it never completely closes again. And that causes problems with saliva or bits of food falling through that crack into your lungs. So intubation can leave permanent damage. Live in studio, Diane Ako, KITV4 Island News. Thanks, Diane.